our water resources water is very important for all living things we need water for drinking bathing cooking washing and for growing crops we know that 3/4 of the earth's surface is covered with oceans but most of this water is salty and not fit for either drinking or cooking fresh water which is used by us exists in lakes rivers streams and ponds our main source of fresh water is rain in india farmers depend on the monsoon rains for their crops but rainfall is not uniform throughout india some places get a lot of rainfall while other places receive very little rain moreover the monsoons provide rain only for a few months in the year irrigation farmers need water throughout the year to grow crops therefore we need to conserve water by building canals dams reservoirs and tanks canals are channels that are dug in the ground to take water from the rivers to the fields in some places wells are dug to bring underground water to the surface when underground water is found very deep below the surface holes are dug with the help of machines to reach this water then tubes are sunk through these holes the underground water is brought to the surface through these tubes with the help of an electric or diesel pump this is called a tube well tube wells are used for irrigation in punjab haryana uttar pradesh and gujarat in some places it is difficult to dig wells yeah rain water is stored in tanks and ponds and is later used for agriculture this is most common in south india dams are walls built across a river to hold back the flow of water these walls have special gates called sluice gates which can be opened and closed to control the flow of water water is stored in a reservoir artificial lake behind the dam canals are dug to take this stored water to the fields where it is required in a dam water is made to fall from a height to generate electricity this is also known as hydroelectricity hydro means connected with water because water is used to produce it dams also control floods and help in breeding fish multi purpose projects when dams are built to serve more than one purpose they are called multi purpose projects some of the multi purpose projects in india are bhakranangal dam it is built on the river satluj in himachal pradesh and is the largest dam in india it provides water for irrigation and also supplies electricity to delhi and its neighboring states damodar valley project it is built on the river damodar it includes a number of dams that provide water for irrigation to west bengal farakka barrage it is built on the river ganga in west bengal it supplies water to west bengal and bangladesh sardar sarovar dam it is built on the river narmada it provides water to the dry areas of gujarat and rajasthan hirakud dam it is built on the river mahandi in odisha and is the longest dam in india nagarjuna sagar and idukki dams the nagarjuna sagar dam on the river krishna is located on the border between telangana and andhra pradesh the dukki dam is built on the river periyar in kerala both of these are important dams in south india why should we conserve water water is very precious and we should use it carefully we should not wash clothes bathe or throw garbage and industrial wastes into rivers lakes and seas as these pollute the water marine life cannot survive in polluted water people who use polluted water for drinking or cooking suffer from many diseases we should make efforts to keep water clean and not waste it